TIFU by giving someone thumbs up while I passed them in the slow lane. I can be an angry driver. So to work on that I've started giving people thumbs up instead of the middle finger. It helps me have a better attitude and I find myself being frustrated less while driving when I don't let anger be my reaction. Well, today that backfired on me. Although who knows what would have happened if I escalated to a middle finger. I was driving behind two cars in the fast lane on my way home from grocery shopping with my young son. The slow lane was wide open and the truck in front in the fast lane was driving just under the speed limit. So I change lanes and pass on the right, giving my usual courtesy thumbs up as I pass the truck. A couple miles up the road, I get into the left turn lane and am stopping for the red light. Well that truck wasn't turning and they had a green light so they were going 60-65 miles per hour as they drove past me. They threw a live shotgun shell at my truck as they passed, hitting the flat back window of my pickup, right behind my son's head. It was so loud my ears were ringing and my son started crying. Luckily the window didn't break and were both fine now. But damn was I fuming when I saw the shell and realized that's what he threw at me. I reported him to the police, who said they will check the cameras at the intersection. So fingers crossed there's consequences for them. TL doctor gave a slow driver thumbs up as I passed them in the slow lane. They threw a live shotgun shell at my truck as they passed me while I was stopped to turn left. Edit seems some took the truck to mean semi-truck. It was just a heavy-duty pickup truck. Edit 2 the shotgun shell did not go off. It hit glass at 60-65 miles per hour and was shockingly loud. It hit sideways. So plastic and the metal ring on the primer side hit the glass. I saw a news story on a woman who had somebody shoot at her car and kill her kid while driving. During a road rage incident and now since I had my kids I'm the most sorry. Nah it's fine. You go don't make any hand motions or even eye contact if I don't have to drive or I've ever been. Nothing is worth my kid's life. Nothing. I'll just complain about what an idiot they were to my very alive family when we get home. I can get angry driving as well. Particularly with the frequent bad driving I see with a complete disregard for the safety of others. My steam let off is to clap my little finger and thumb together imagining a little puppet. Sarcastically applauding their stupidity. It's amazing how little things can release the built-up anger. Oh my wife did shit like this for years and it drove me fucking crazy. Why are you flipping some dude off when I got a cash the check you wrote? On top of that, people in Vegas are psychos who will probably just shoot you. I mean, I have a gun too. But shooting someone isn't exactly on my to-do list because I wanted to go to Target. People are absolutely insane on the road and I feel like it's been getting worse over the years. In New York we have a defensive driving course that offers an insurance discount. It's six hours and you can take it every couple of years to maintain the insurance reduction. I find it to be an extremely helpful refresher to remind me of the dangers that other drivers pose. The safest thing to do is assume everyone else on the road is the joker and will murder you if you look at them the wrong way. Passing lane. Call it the passing lane. Ends up being faster by definition. But hopefully if people will realize it's the passing lane, they will get the fuck out of it when they are done passing. Regardless what speed they are going. Regardless whether someone is behind them or not. Pass. And get out. Yes. Bumper to bumper rush hour is obviously exempt.
I'm glad you are okay. I try and warn anyone who will listen to that you really shouldn't antagonize strangers. Behind the wheel or otherwise. Dark take. But as somebody who has messed around and found out and gotten lucky after being incredibly stupid. Several times and seen several people who absolutely lost it. We literally have no idea what a stranger is capable of. And if everyone kept that in mind they wouldn't be so brash. And I'm definitely a calmer more even keel person because of it. Get front and rear dash cams. Also, don't make any kind of gestures. Just carry on living your life. It will be hard in the beginning but tell yourself that other people's driving shouldn't be dictating your own behavior. Oh damn I. For a year now have been giving the thumbs up instead of the finger due to the increase of road rage violence. My hand goes up for the middle finger and I change it for the thumbs up. I'm gonna have to death grip the steering wheel. I guess. Thumbs down is the way. I never make eye contact or gestures at other drivers. I communicate only through the lights on my car. It helps keep me calmer and avoids escalating situations. Only a special kind of asshole goes under the speed limit in the fast lane. In all seriousness though, I'm sorry that happened to you. No matter what happens, no one deserves to be maimed or killed over road rage. It's not worth it especially with your kid in the car. I read a story where two fathers shot at each other's trucks and both shot each other's daughters in the truck. Neither dad got really hurt but both daughters got hospitalized. It's just not worth it. America seems like a failed experiment that's becoming a third world country for about 80 of the people who live there. It's honestly mad. Wait. Through. Or shot. Tell me you live in the U.S. without telling me you live in U.S. I don't understand what do you mean it was so loud they just threw a shotgun shell at your window. And it was that loud or did it explode? As soon as I saw the video of that guy in Florida shooting at some woman through his windows I realized it was time to stop flipping people off on the road. I'll honk if I must, but I won't engage with people at all anymore. What really helps me is just swearing up a storm in my car. They can't hear and I can vent without triggering someone's road rage. I'd rather rant and rave like a fool to myself than do something that could lead to the other person endangering everyone around them in a blind rage. The shotgun shell didn't go off. You cannot possibly tell me people were actually asking if it did. That's not how they work. The odds of a bullet or shotgun shell going off from being dropped or thrown are astronomically small. If it's even possible at all. Don't interact with other drivers. Good or bad. Thumbs up or middle finger. Just drive. Years ago I had some dude start following me after I flipped him off on the highway because he didn't know how to merge and was all but hurt at me. Who had the right of way? He finally stopped following me but I was just about to find the nearest police station to pull into because it went on for several miles. After that I stopped giving the bird or any visual signal for that matter. Except maybe once since then. Not worth it. Free ammo. I drive a lot. I haven't seen much evidence to suggest truckers aren't the enemy of every other person on the road. Something I always think of when I start getting frustrated and mad on the road is that there is always someone more crazy than I am. I never want to get myself into a situation with someone like that.